How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to Concentrated Fitness. Today I'm going to tell you guys five things that I wish I knew when I started CrossFit. So these are five main things that I learned once I started and once I got the idea of them and finally learned them, it made a huge difference in my performance and how I felt and just my overall experience with CrossFit. So if you apply these five things and keep these in mind when you go, every time you go to the gym, you're going to make tremendous results and be much better. So the first thing I learned is rest days are very important. Someone like me, when I get into something, I put my 110% into it. If I'm really interested into it, I want to learn everything, I want to try everything, I want to do everything, and I just you know engulf myself in the whole entire feeling and the whole atmosphere of what I'm doing. So when it came to CrossFit, I was going five, six, sometimes seven days a week when they started having open gym on Sundays at my, at my first CrossFit gym. And when I started doing that, it was just too much for my body. I realized that I was like beating myself up and I, it was, I started to degress rather than keep progressing and getting better and stronger and more technical on my lips. So I made sure that, you know, hey, if I feel beat up, I'm gonna take a rest. So I started planning set rest days, like on Thursdays or Saturdays or whatever it was, every single week, I'm not gonna go into the gym unless I feel absolutely 110%, you know, um, feel healthy, I feel good, I feel strong, I feel like I can. Otherwise, don't be afraid of missing a day. As long as you are hitting gym consistently, three, four, five times a week, if you feel really good, you'll make plenty of results. Number two is that diet is very important. When you're putting yourself through these intensive strength and workout regimens, it puts a big toll on your body. Your body needs to recover, it needs to grow stronger, it needs to adapt to all these exercises and movements that you're doing. So to make sure you're doing that, you need to make sure you're supplying yourself with the appropriate food. So tons of veggies, you know, healthy complex carbs, you're not eating just fries all day long, you're eating, you know, lots of uh, healthy options that are going to fuel your body and make you feel good. So don't be afraid to eat a lot when you're doing CrossFit because your body's going to need a lot of fuel to keep doing what it's doing, but make sure you're eating healthy options. The third lesson that I learned is that the exercises are very, very challenging. So when I first started CrossFit, I was 19, and I had a good grasp on some of the exercises already from football and high school. I knew how to do snatches, I knew how to do cleans, but I did not know how to do handstand push-ups, I didn't know how to do muscle-ups, I didn't know how to do a lot of these other very I don't know, advanced technical movements, and so I was trying to add too much weight too fast, I was trying to go, I was trying to go too fast in the workouts, so these repetitions are just getting sloppy and just you know more susceptible to injury, and just not actually learning how to do movement properly to help myself get better down the road. So make sure you are always listening to your coaches, you're always starting very slow and progressively building based on you know how the movement looks, how it feels, if it doesn't feel right, don't be adding weight and make and you know taking the chance of getting yourself injured or just not learning it properly. Definitely start very, very slow and build and progress from there. My fourth lesson was making sure that you track your progress. Luckily, at the first gym that I went to, we had uh, workout logs that they gave you, just a, you know, a regular 99 cent notebook. You'd write down all the workout you did, your time, the strength that you did for that day. And just so that way when you go back, you know, months from now, you can see how much you've actually grown and how much you've progressed. This is also a great thing to have in case if you feel like you are not getting stronger or you feel like you are not doing enough, you can actually see, okay, you know, I did this much for an overhead squat three months ago, I did this much today. How much did I improve? Was it a lot? Was it a little? Did I not improve? Did I digress in my, in my strength or whatever it may be? So doing that and making sure you're logging all your workouts will help you progress and make sure you need to be on the right track to what you need to do. And then lesson number five was just make sure that you are humble and you have no ego when you walk into the gym. Again, when I started CrossFit, I was 19. I was just a kid. I thought, you know, I'm head honcho, always the gym that I went to had a bunch of 30, 40, 50 year old people in there. They're, you know, soccer moms, they're just like dads that work at a desk job, but they were absolutely destroying me at workouts. It wasn't even close. I was, you know, pretty strong compared to a lot of them, but they were just very good movers. They knew how to pace themselves. They knew, you know, the ins and out of CrossFits and their workouts, so they did much, much better at me. And they were getting, you know, because of that and they knew how to approach every workout, they were getting more out of it. Rather than me just being this new hotshot kid trying to go 110%, you know, from the beginning of the workout and all of a sudden five minutes later I'm dead in this 30 minute AMRAP. So make sure you are definitely, you know, leaving your ego out the door, listen to your coaches, listen to your fellow classmates. What do they have to say? A lot of them are, you know, more than welcome to give you advice and give you tips on things that they've learned as well along the way to make sure that you get the most out of every single class. Alright guys, those are my five things that I learned when I first started CrossFit. If you guys have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. Is there anything you think I left out that you learned that made a huge difference once you realized that, hey, I'm making this mistake or I need to tweak this? Leave that down in the comment section as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for plenty more videos. If you don't already, follow us on Instagram at Fitness. We'll see you guys in the next video.